Texas are on Texas. Today, voters head to the polls for the first primary election of the 2018 midterm season. Republicans facing unusually heavy pressure for a deep red state. So what do the voters think? Fox News correspondent Griff Jenkins is talking to them live at the West Side Cafe in Fort Worth, Texas. I bet the food is good. Hey, Griff. It is. Hey, hey, Rob, what's going on? It is good. I got pancakes here, but let me tell you, it's an exciting day because they're kicking off the national midterm starts right now here in Texas. We're in Fort Worth at the West Side Cafe, and they are expecting a possible blue wave. They had a voter early voting turnout, which is the past 11 days. It ended Friday, smashed records. Over 885,000 people turned out, nearly double what it was in 2014, the last time they had a turnout. You know, the joke here in Texas, Rob, is that the Democrats will fall about 500,000 uh, votes short of flipping Texas. Well, they really think they've got a uh, chance with this massive turnout. However, there is no correlation proven in last elections between early turnout and general elections. But we are at the West Side Cafe where people are going to be talking a lot of politics with their eggs and bacon. And uh, Tracy San Sanford, uh, you've had the West Side Cafe here for 21 years. It's an exciting day. You're going to be talking a lot of politics today. Uh, yeah, everybody will be buzzing about it, I'm sure. It'll be a lot of interest. Now, Tracy, we were talking a little bit. Uh, you're in the restaurant business, and we've seen immigration uh, rise in the polling issues of people being interested in nationally. What do you think about uh, immigration? What do you think the issue matters most for a business owner like yourself? Well, there's two sides to every coin. You know, for our perspective, it's really hard to get labor. You know, trying to get, whether it's uh, Mexicans or whether it's, Syrians, you know, we just we just need more labor. The unemployment is very low, and there's very few people willing to work today. And you're saying it's a tight labor market, and so you would like to see candidates are going to talk about making uh, it easier for unskilled laborers to get jobs here, to work in your kitchen, to work uh, uh, in these uh, agricultural jobs here in uh, Texas. Yeah, maybe increasing unskilled worker visas. You know, you hear about the H-1Bs for Silicon Valley, but we need people to wash the dishes, mow the yards, frame the homes, and all the all the businessmen I know, they're all suffering trying to get good help, and it's really driving up wages. Well, thank you, and I, I think uh, Tracy here is going to get me stuff, guys. Uh, just so that we're very clear, it is all 36 House of Representative seats are on the uh, table today, as well as one Senate uh, race. Senator Ted Cruz is up, as well as Governor Abbott and all statewide races. All in all, Democrats have over 1,800 candidates running this year. Guys? Big day in Texas, that's for sure.